A pleasant Friday to all of you, my dear friends. My name is Abion Kahlo, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Our gospel for today is taken from Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 to 23. And in this gospel, Jesus speaks about the investment. He says, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. And the difference is this. Treasures here on earth, they don't last. Moth and rust destroy them, and where thieves break in and steal them. But treasures in heaven, they are eternal. The point of Jesus is not to demonize material possessions. But the point of Jesus is, where is your heart invested in? Are you invested in, on things that don't last? Or are you invested on things that are eternal? Everything here on earth, they won't last. But relationship with God is eternal. The life that God has promised us is eternal. And we should therefore invest all our life and treasure our relationship with the Lord because that's eternal. Jesus shared a disturbing parable in one of his gospels. And he said there, in fact, he commended a wicked servant. And this servant, when he learned that he was supposed to take account or to give account of his stewardship, he did something about it. He acted on it right away. And that's why Jesus commended him. Because after learning that he's supposed to take account of his life or give an account of his life, he acted on it right away. We too should act on it right away, that we are supposed to take account of our stewardship, how we are using all these material possessions that God has given us. We are just stewards of all this. And so how are we using them? And we will be giving an account of how we're stewarding, how we're using these material possessions. And we should act right away like the wicked servant. And Jesus also commends this wicked servant because he used his position to secure for himself a good future. In the same way, we are supposed to use whatever we have, whether position or possessions, for us to secure for ourselves our eternal life. So again, the secret is not the accumulation of you know, material possessions, but just to be contented with what we have and using all that we have to secure for us our eternal life in heaven. In the last part of the gospel, Jesus speaks about the eye, that if the eye is sound, the whole body will also be full of light because the eye is the lamp of the body. Their understanding actually during their time is that the eye is not just the receiver of light, but it's also the transmitter of light. And St. Thomas Aquinas kind of gives us an idea what that means. He says, the eye speaks about our intention, while the whole body represents our action. As the whole body follows the eye in the same way, our action also follows the eye. So what are our intentions? Our action speaks about our intention. What is our attention? What is our focus? What is the purpose of our life? My dear brothers and sisters, my dear friends, let our intention and our attention be focused on glorifying God. And the way we use these things should follow. The way we use our material possession should also glorify the Lord. And let us also use our material possessions in order for us to secure our eternal inheritance in heaven. God bless us all.